Lance Thomas and Ticketmaster Bobby the Brain of the Nitro Girl. Spec music on 60 North 66th Street will be in St. Pete tomorrow from 3 to 5 p.m. When tickets go on sale tomorrow in the Tampa Bay area for Monday, June 29th, Nitro the Ice Palace. Also, tickets go on sale tomorrow for a big event at the A.J. Palumbo Center in Pittsburgh. That date, Saturday, June 13th. Tickets to the box office and all usual Palumbo outlets. In the next weeks, we'll have information about big shows this summer coming to Atlanta, Los Angeles, San Diego, Las Vegas, and Oakland, California. What a summer it's going to be for WCW and obviously for the New World Order. Tony, I'm going to be in Tampa tomorrow signing autographs with the Nitro Girl. Since Tampa's a Florida town, the weather's nice, the beaches, do you think there's a chance they may show up in a bikini? You need someone to replace you tomorrow in uh, St. Pete? No, I need people there in bikinis. This asking, uh, Chris Benoit earned his shot at Fifth Finley on Sunday by defeating Booker T in a one-on-one -on -one impromptu matchup we had Monday on Nitro. All right, here's the information we promised you about Nitro. Very important information, as you know, the NBA playoffs, they're down to the semifinals, actually the conference finals. And uh, because the uh, NBA playoffs are on TNT, I want to let you know that we're going to have WCW Monday Nitro for one hour, 7 to 8 p.m. this coming Monday on TNT, prior to the Lakers and Utah Jazz Western Conference final game. And then after the NBA playoffs at 11.30 p.m., one hour of Nitro following. So Nitro will wrap around the NBA playoffs Monday on TNT, 7 to 8 p.m., and then 11.30 to 12.30 a.m. later that night. There's a powerful man right there. Boy, is he ever. And notice that Chaos is nearby, as was Rage earlier tonight when Chaos fought Fit Finley. But notice this, Lee. Benoit. Hey. That big power slam. He got up by himself. He got up and went right after the man. That's the history of this man. That's the way he operates. It's hard man to beat. Uh, two, up. Uh, two count, and as you said, Leah's shoulder is up. Well, tonight, as you know, the tension mounts in the locker rooms back, the individual and team locker rooms we have in the back. Sting, what's going through his mind? The last time we saw him, Monday, high above the Raptors. We hadn't seen him up there in a long time looking down. But you know the turn of the giant. When he sided with Hollywood Hogan, had to certainly work on the psyche of Sting, on the, the mental faculties of Sting. What's going through his mind? Sting and the giant are still scheduled to go after the World Tag Team Championship Sunday. But Sting literally is going to be going in there against three members of the NWO on opposite sides, but still three members of the New World Order. Well, Sting has a problem. He has a big problem. What is he ever? 500-pound problem, and he better get it solved by the time he gets in that ring. Because the last thing I'd want to do is get in the ring with those two guys, knowing my partner doesn't like me. Or he might have a 500-pound ally, because, again, you have to think about the possibility that all the Giant wants is a shortcut to Kevin Nash. Well, then this could be very interesting. Now, the fact is that we saw today, we'll let the fans know to hang right where you are, we saw today when one of the many uh, NWO limos pulled up, the Giant did get out. So that means even though we haven't seen him, the Giant is somewhere in the arena here in New Hampshire, here tonight, up on oh. top of a big splash, no sir. Waited too long. Ben was in too good a shape. You can't waste that much time with him. Now he's signaling it's just about over for Mr. Rage. Now he goes up. Benoit hits him with his flying headbutt. That hurt them both. Both men very groggy, but it's been while the first man back to the vertical base. Here comes Rage, and Rage, they kind of lured him into that. I think so. Ben will look like he was fine enough for the Crippler cross face. And now he puts it on. At least he's attempting to. There, there he is. got it. Oh, is he going to tap out? Watch his hands. Or is he going to give up? Or is he going to get out of it? There's a tap. Yeah. Tap down, it's over. He stayed in there a while. Rage and Chaos showed us tonight. They're ready. Now, if Finley gets by Eddie Guerrero this coming Saturday, that means that it's going to be Benoit and Finley for the World Television Championship.